Do you know the feeling when the client tells you they want you to change all the font in the graphics, in the sequence, in the project, or even multiple projects? But it doesn't have to be painful because Premiere Pro has this great feature that allows you to do it in just like two seconds. I will save you hours of work with this video, so at least what you can do is subscribe. So as you can see in this project, I do have different fonts that I'm using not only in one sequence, but also in multiple different kinds of projects. So if I want to change like all of it, I go and click on any of it, go into graphics and titles in the menu and then option replace fonts in project and I can decide whether I want to change all of them in all projects currently open. So if you don't want it, you can close it. So if I want to change just one, I'm going to highlight one and then I'm going to find replace uh, replacement font and then I'm going to click OK. But I want to change all of them. OK, so I'm going to hit Command A or Control A to select all of them. And I'm going to change it to something quite obvious, right? So, for example, Apple Chancery. It's horrible, but it will work. And as you can see, replacement font for all of them is Apple Chancery. Now I'm going to click OK. And this changed, this changed, this changed, going back to different project. This changed, everything is now in this font. So basically, if I undo, just for the sake of it, because I want to show you another way, right? If you want to change the font just on multiple layers, not all the project or all the sequence, it gives you more flexibility. You have to click on any of the layer, text layer in the timeline, and then go to Essential Graphics panel, highlight the text and change the font. So it's going to be, and this goes not only for the font, but also the size, okay? And any other style um, options. So basically, let's make it bigger as well. And you can go to styles and then click on creating style. Just make sure that you need to be highlighted on just single layer, not all of them, because then this option will be grayed out. Create a style, you can name this a uh, YouTube tutorial style, whatever. Click OK. And then you have to go, you have to find it. OK, so you have to go into your project bin. And let me switch to the icon view. Boom. So basically it will appear like a layer in your project files. And then what you got to do is you have to drop it. So let's say on this graphic, I'm going to drop it on this graphic and it changes. OK. And basically, if I go to another project and I want to like drop it on just only these three to change, I'm going to drop it on this three and then it's done. OK, so this gives you more flexibility, but it also takes only a little time. And now you're asking, how do you update the style? So maybe you want to change the just the font size because you say like, OK, 102 is too big. So then let's make it smaller. What you have to do, you don't have to go back to the original master style. You can click any of the text file that you applied master styles to. Go and I'm like, OK, 87, bam, it's smaller. What I have to do, this is not all. Two options, master styles, OK? And I have to use the second arrow, push the track or style. This will update the layer. If you want to go back, so the previous version, you hit the arrow number one, goes down and you will kind of undo what you've done to the style. So we go to the previous version, but we want to update right now. And what happens when you update the master style in your projects, in the same projects, uh, it might update. Like in this case, if I go back to the other project, this is still too big. So I will need to drop the master style again on that. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below and check out my podcast, Girl with the Camera. It's about films, interviews and so on. I would be... Happy if you just give it a go and have a listen on Spotify or any other platform that you want. But most importantly, subscribe and give it a like or comment. Either way, it works for me. You know, it's a win-win. I helped you, you helped me. So thank you.